In June 2020, city councillors agreed to pilot a livable neighbourhood project in the Hanover and Tana area. Livable neighbourhoods, also known as low traffic neighbourhoods, are designed to cut the amount of through traffic caused by drivers using residential areas as a shortcut, also known as rat running. But a livable neighbourhood isn't just about reducing traffic. They can create new green spaces, increase physical activity, reduce crime, cut carbon emissions, improve air quality and increase social interactions. The project would maintain access for private vehicles to homes, for traders and businesses, and priority access for emergency services, public transport and council services such as bin collections. Using things like filters and bus gates, changing the direction of traffic flow and restricting access to certain roads, we can reduce rat running and make it easier and safer for people to walk, wheel or cycle. Now, of course, this will make driving less convenient for residents too. It may mean taking a different route home, for example. But we hope in time, more people will choose to travel actively and sustainably instead. It also means more drivers may use roads on the project boundary. Because of this, we're reviewing what can be done on these boundary roads to improve traffic flow, including tackling pavement parking. It could mean that traffic on these roads increases at first, but other councils have said that over time, the amount of traffic actually reduces on roads which border a low traffic neighbourhood as people switch to other forms of transport. One of the benefits of this being a pilot is that we'll be able to change and adjust the scheme as we go to make sure it's working in the best way possible. We'll also be monitoring things like speed, traffic counts and air quality. So what happens next? Well, since last year we've held workshops online and in person to ask people in Hanover and Tana for their comments, feedback and suggestions. With the help of disability groups, we've also carried out an accessibility audit of the area. Using that information, we've now come up with a proposed design and are asking people both inside and outside the boundary for their views during a public consultation. This is a chance for everyone to have their say on the Liverpool Neighbourhood Project. You can see the plans and comment by going to our website. Thank you.